So in this scenario, your performer has already done their hair. In an ideal world, usually it would be better if a mic is fitted before the hair is done, but sometimes that's just not the case. We're going to use these hair pins. The big ones that the wigs department might use will work, but if you can find some smaller ones with the wavy middles, they're better for this. We're going to start from the base of the neck in the middle, as close to the skin as possible, and gently feed the mic through the hair. You're almost using the mic head as a needle, weaving it through the hair. When you get to the front, try and land the mic as central as you can get while still keeping the mic covered. Here I'm just pulling the mic taut and then there are two ways that you can secure the head of the mic, either by attaching a toupee clip or by using the hairpins. So here I'm just picking up a piece of hair with the pin, passing it over and then pushing it in under the mic cable. And I'm gonna do the same with a few pins down the length of the cable. It's also a great way of hiding any sections of cable that are showing. You might want to offer the performer some tape for the neck to stop the mic being pulled out when they move. Here's some pictures of it finished. As you can see, the mic is well hidden, and with those pins tight enough, it'll be plenty secure too. <laughs> 